Hi everyone, this is AK Anime, and as we all know, there's a lot of different animes available for you guys to watch. As Valentine's Day is approaching, now is the time to highlight romance animes. In the anime community, most romance animes aren't really talked about compared to the action animes. Some romance series you can watch are Your, Your Line April, Maid Sama, Love is War, and Toradora. Some romance movies you can watch are 5 centimeters per second, Ride Your Wave, Weathering with You, and Your Name. But before we start, today we have some special guests to talk about romance animes. So let's get right into it. Do you like watching romance animes and why? I like some romance animes. Um, romance animes tend to be more of a hit or miss for me. Sometimes I feel like the plot is a little too cliche or the characters get together right away and they don't really face any obstacles. But if a romance anime isn't like that, then I tend to actually really like them and I tend to watch a lot of them. I do like romance animes. Um, I always have, um, but in general, I always, you know, I love romance books and movies and TV shows. I'm just a very sappy, um, cheesy person like that. I like that they can pull on my heartstrings. Um, I always called myself a hopeless romantic, so. What was the first romance anime that you watched? Uh, the first romance anime that I watched was Orin High School Host Club. <laughs> I think I watched it in middle school, but I've watched it a few times since middle school, and honestly, I still think it's pretty good. I personally didn't ship who got together, but it's it was still very fun to watch, and I do watch it multiple times, and I probably will watch it again. I think the first romance anime I watched uh, was Your Lie in April. It was recommended by a friend. Um, it is a romance. Um, but it's a very subtle romance. It's basically about these students in high school. One of them plays the piano and is dealing with some past trauma. And then the other one is a violinist. Um, and it's basically them just um, spending time together um, and helping one another. It is very sad, though. Um, it is sad. Um, but it's more realistic, I guess, compared to a lot of other animes. Uh, but I, I can t I still watch it to this day, so I I'm in love with it. What romance anime was the saddest or made you cry the most? The saddest romance anime I have ever watched is Plastic Memories. It had me crying every or almost every episode. It's about these people who work at an agency where they go to different people's homes and they have to raise the memories of these androids who were basically family for these people for 10 years. So basically we get attached to these characters and then we have to watch them die essentially. So it made me cry a lot. <laughs> the saddest anime, uh, or at least saddest romance anime I watched was Your Lie in April. Um, you know it's going to end badly throughout kind of the entire thing, but somehow it still leaves you with this sense of hope and it still leaves, you know, that sense of love behind, whether it's between friends or, you know, with actual with your actual partner. Um, it's sad, but it still made me happy at the end. Um, I th and I, I do think it has a lot of um, positive messages uh, throughout the entire anime. Which romance anime is your favorite and why? My favorite romance anime is Orange. So it's about this girl and her group of high school friends. And one day she receives a letter from her future self that tells her that her love, love interest is going to commit suicide by the end of the year. And in the letter is all of her regrets and ways her future self came up with that would essentially save him from committing suicide and prevent his suicide. But it's my favorite because yes, it has a dark premise, but I, it's a really sweet story. And you see all the characters come together, not just the main girl and her love interest, but all the friends too. And I really enjoyed watching it. And it's kind of short too. I think it's only 12 episodes. My favorite anime is uh, Snow White with the red hair. Um, it takes place in this more medieval-like setting, you know, with kings and queens and princesses and princes. Um, 
and basically it is uh, about this girl with red hair and apparently in her village it's it's very rare so a prince then asks her to be her concubine however she says no and she runs away and cuts off her hair eventually she gets picked up by another prince um and of course you know they fall in love it is quite cheesy and i sometimes hate to admit it that it's my favorite because of just how corny and like lovey-dovey it is but it really is so sweet they go on adventures and they're just both kind of shy with one another and uh, it was one of the first animes I also watched, so it just has a really nice place in my heart. And I honestly do re recommend it to a lot of people because um, it it's kind of simple, you know? It's just them slowly falling in love and them being dorky with one another. It it's cute. If you like romance, I, I would always recommend that one. If you had to recommend one romance anime to someone, what would you, what would you recommend? If I had to recommend a romance anime, I would recommend Blue Spring Ride. Um, it's about this girl, and she meets the love of her life in middle school, but then one day he disappears, and she doesn't find him again until high school. But by the time she sees him again, he's a completely different person, and she changed as well. So this entire anime is about her discovering why he changed so much, why did he leave in the middle of um, middle school, and then it's them getting together and it's a really cute story and it's not completely finished the actual anime so if you want to see how it ends and like be more satisfied i would suggest reading the manga which is what i did and it was a really good story the anime that i would recommend to people who are maybe new to anime but want to get into you know um that world is probably treasure children it is a romance anime and it is you know just these high school students but it's so simple and it's not overwhelming at all it's basically just an anime um showing different couples and how they interact and, and how they grow or separate from another each other it's it's very simple it's also very corny and cheesy but um when I first started watching anime, I started watching uh, romance animes because of the simplicity to them. It gets you into that world very slowly, and I don't know, I think it's a little bit more realistic because it does show different interactions with people, and, and the characters are all very different. Um, and there are some, you know, some funny moments in there. Um, so I would definitely recommend that one. If you want to watch any of these animes, you can watch them on Netflix, Crunchyroll, and Hulu. Well, that's all the time we're here for this segment, folks. If you guys want to talk to us about or review specific animes, you can email us, us both about them. We hope you enjoyed this episode of AK Anime. Thanks for watching and have a happy Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm.